welcome back guys um it's 22:25 now 25 minutes past 10 in the uk on the 18th of january and so let's see how what happened today in, in the um, in the market and what trades we we took and the opportunities that delivered some results gbp chf we looked at it this morning and we were open to price either breaking the high of the asian session or reversing temporarily for some opportunity of, of profits and altogether the range today had been 134 pips and so price broke the low of the asian session got to the pivot daily pivot and just continued going back down hitting about 60 pips before returning again so yeah there's some some pips to um to make on the gbp chf good day gbp nzd today would have been um a day of indecision altogether for the day because price broke downwards and has returned back to to the level where it opened from at the beginning of the day so that will be definitely a doji on the daily time frame so if we looked at the daily time frame that looks absolutely like not exactly like a doji but as a reversal formation right there On the ER exchange system, break below the pivot point, and there was 48 pips to make, taking away the 15 pips of um, the spread. So there were some pips to make on the GBP NZD. GBP card. This should have been a mixed opportunity even though with the ER exchange system that candle there is a four o'clock candle so that would have still taken us in because at 4 30 5 o'clock I UK time I do not trade the ERX after 4 30 um, 5 o'clock um, I just close out or delete any buy or sell order still open but open trades will be will run to the end so in this case that would have meant the first trade open there nine pips spread here have made potentially um, about 32 pips and on the upside it's about 90 pips to make so again both sides of the of the trade buy and sell there were opportunities there to take in some pips gbp aud very nice clean trade 10 pips spread price broke the low of the asian session got to the pivot daily pivot reverse back tested the the low and then continue to go down so, so we had 84 pips opportunity there nice gbp usd another nice trade four pips on this yeah and they hit the 51 50 yeah 55 pip mark so this would have been a nice trade 25 pips 50 percent trade closed and at 50 pips and the further 25 percent closed and then stop loss move to 25 pips so i've been taking out yeah 
It's a nice trade. Nice trade on the GBP USD. Euro USD. Another nice trade. Price broke here. And all through the day, button 47 pips. So nice trades on the ERX chain breakout system. On the 5TT candle reversal system, if you remember this morning, I thought that it would have been impossible for the USD card to actually break out with a bullish, forceful bullish bar. And in reality, that's actually happened today. So that is, that is, that is quite impressive. And um, the trade is currently in profit. Small trade there. Five micro lots. So currently in profit. Stop loss moved to that point. So it's become a risk free trade. Locked in about 55 to 54, 55 pips. It's not bad. It will just keep going and probably be taken out at about 50 pips, 55 pips or it gets to the target there that's where the target is so let's see from 36 pips target that's awesome cut jpy actually hit 64 pips and is currently on a very small Profit my um, EA, my computer VPS shut down. And so that trade would have been, would have closed half of, half of the trade by now, but it didn't. So I will just close the trade. Yeah, done. But that, that's a profitable move. And ZD card, it's a nice little trade. Nice, nice trade. This is the way we like it to happen. It's 800 pips there, touched that level of support and is currently being reversed slightly. And I'll close that as well. Euro card, All right, that's what I like to see. I wanna be able to see something like this, where this morning we talked about all the several in this indecisive moves over the past several days and right now price has broken to the upside um, decisively closed 75 percent of the trade on euro card leaving out only 25 percent and the stop loss has now moved to how many pips is about 36 pips in profit and we'll just leave that to run until price retraces and takes me out and hits my stop loss. So as if price continues to move, the stop loss will continue to trail, trail price. So that is a risk-free trade now. Close those ones that I wasn't sure of. And so yeah, that's um that's been a good trading day indeed. All right, let's see what tomorrow delivers. Have a good evening. Cheers.